Okay, welcome to part two. In this part I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to make this go a little bit faster. Um, but I'm also going to show you how to expand past two stories. Uh, because right now we only have two stories, or two levels, and you might have forgotten how to add more. Or I might not have shown you. Not sure. So, to get started, what we're going to want to do is go to one of our elevations. I'll go to my east, doesn't really matter. But in this elevation, you're going to see uh, our grid structure over here. And what we want to do is this kind of represents our camera. So I'm going to click on one of these, and a little circle is going to show up right underneath the one I click on. And I want to click on that circle, and while holding it down, I want to drag it upward. And when I let, let it go, it's going to drag the other ones with it. Um, but this is representing what my camera can see. So if I don't have this, which I'll show you in a second, um, we're not going to get any grid lines. And if we don't get any grid lines, it's going to be hard to appropriately stack our structure together. So with that raised, I'm going to add another datum. So I'm going to go to the Architecture tab. And over here to Level, click on that. Um, do you want to save the project? Um, no, OK. I just had to do that. And I'm going to draw in another level, like so. Um, I can zoom in. I can adjust it. So obviously, if I'm going by 10 feet differences, I can set this to 20 feet. And now I know it's in the appropriate place. Let me also go ahead and add in a fourth level. So I'm going to actually click on this tool here, pick line. And I'm going to put a 10 foot offset. And I'm guessing, yep, it just allows me to quickly build up a structure, like so. So instead of manually drawing them in, I'm just going to do that, pick an offset, and then, nice, it draws them in for me. When you draw them in this view, it adds it to your floor plan. So right now, I can go over to level 3. You're going to notice right away that I have half my grid structure here, but not the entire thing. Um, and that was because I added, or I increased the level of my grid structure in my east view, which will also, in a sense, have it in the west. But my north and south are still down here. So I have to do the same with either the north or the south view. Click on one of them, grab the little circle, and raise the line up. When I let it go, and go back to level 3, it will be shown over here. So I got my structure in place. Everything is good. Once again, I cannot see the floor that's underneath this. That can pose a problem. So I can go over to my view range and essentially go. Ooh, that looks weird. Let me try again. Edit. not really responding the way I have, so maybe I went too quick with the levels. I'm going to delete the levels I actually made. And I apologize, because you probably did the same. Let me get back down to level 3. So I'm at level 3 now. Nothing else exists. And now I'm going to essentially whoops, edit my view range. Yeah, and I can go one level below. Hit apply. Let's take a zoom in. Nothing showing up. So let's edit the view range a little bit more. Let's go to level one. Okay. So it's a little tricky to work with. Um, I'm guessing we're going to have to build this in a sense level by level. Um, although that's really weird. Um, but it's important to keep in mind your number system. Because even if you don't quite know where your structure is at, if you know it's starting at the second beam at 10 and 14, you can start building from 10 and 14. Even if you can't see your structure, but you can see the grid lines, you can still build your structure. It takes a little more like finesse and memorization, uh, but it does work. So, now, 
quicker way we can add floors really quickly. Um, and I'll show you, I guess using this method, um, or actually, I think I'm going to do this in the 3D view. So I designed this, I like it, I think it's pretty nifty, um, and I want to, let's say I select everything from the second floor. Instead of doing that whole process and essentially duplicating it multiple times, with this floor selected, I can go over here to the copy to clipboard option, click on that, it's going to copy it, and then I can paste it. So let me hit paste from clipboard. It's going to ask me which floor do you want to paste it to, or it usually does. Let me adjust it to level 3, so level, level 3, and then I'm going to hit enter. Uh, didn't quite work. Let me go over here to level 3 and let me paste it in this view. Do I really have to align this? Huh, maybe I do. Let me see what other options I have. Okay, um, down here paste assigned to selected levels, that's what I want. Um, click on that, I'm going to specify I want it on level 3, and then I'll hit OK. Boom, it should create it on level 3 in a matter of seconds. Just letting it load. Remember it's building up an entire floor right now. And then if I check out my structure, there you go, level 3. Now a cool thing to do in this view is while you're forming and shaping it, um, if you know you don't want beams over here, in the 3D view you can kind of like crop out beam systems that you don't want. Or maybe you want an angled beam over here, which some of you will. So let me show you how to add something like that. I'm going to head over to level 3. I know that it's somewhere down here, so yeah, usually it's a, it's, it shows better, but that's fine. Um, let me take one more look at over here. So it's one and one. Okay. And let's go ahead and draw a beam at, I don't know, 45 degrees or something. Uh, go over to the architecture tab, or structure tab head over to column, click on column, and then what you're going to want to do is we're going to switch over to a slanted column. I'm going to click on that, and what we have to do is we have to specify how this one's going to work. So I'm going to say this starts at level 3, whoops, it cannot, um, I'm going to, I change this to level 1 first so I can go to level 3 over here, and then I'm going to change this one to level 2. So this is going to start at level 3 and roll over to level 2. Um, so now I'm going to click here and click there. The column's base level must be below its top. Okay, I get it. Um, so let me go over to level 2 and do that over there. It's just saying that I'm one level above what I need to be. And I will do that again. Slanted column. This is going to be, let me change that to level 3, change that to level 2, and let's give this another go. So level 2 to level 3. It gave us the error again, but now I'm pretty sure I got it. So level 2 to level 3 keeps giving us an error, so I'm going to do this from level 2 to 10 feet, level 2. So you know, 10 feet above level 2 is going to be technically a level 3, so let's see if this gives us an error. Which it does, and that's really peculiar, uh, but we'll do the, the kind of cheap method of doing it then. Um, if you go over to column, and we're still on level 2, so level 2, 0 foot offset, go on level 3, a 10 foot offset um, and this time 
instead of clicking on one of the beams, because I think that's what's generating the error, we're going to click kind of like very close to the beam. So maybe over there, and we're going to run it up to, once again, very close to the beam, and click over there. Boom, it works. So if we go over to the 3D view, what? Oh, because I did level 3 with a 10 foot offset, so it's going to increase it. Um, it looks like we're on the, technically the wrong side, but there is the beam. Um, if I select this and I oops, go over to the top view, sometimes it, yep, we can move it into place um, with a few taps of, a, a taps of the button. Apparently it doesn't want to get too close, um, but we can move it into place once we have the beam we want in place and we can also you know copy this beam and paste it you know somewhere else so let's try to paste that beam over here and then you know it's it follows all the same rules we can rotate this and we can actually move it if it lets me oops it wants to move uh, essentially to hopefully yeah, where it needs to go. Um, and if you do this correctly, you're going to form a triangle. Um, and it's important that you form a triangle because as I mentioned earlier in, in CEA, triangle is the, the most structurally stable shape. So when we're building trusses or roofs or whatnot, we want to try to form triangles. So we're going to have a beam going up this way. Um, it's also important that we have a vertical beam that matches it. And if you do that, then your structure would be sound. So anyway, uh, those are just a few more tips and tricks for getting started on the skyscraper. Um, there are a few other cool things we can do with beams. Um, you can curve them and create some nifty things here. Um, so go ahead, experiment with these, and then when you feel you're confident, um, go ahead and start putting together your 40-story skyscraper. I'm sure you're going to run into issues. Um, do your best to circumnavigate through them. Um, ask your, your teammates for help or your, your class for help, um, and you'll be able to get through this. Okay, so until the next video. I will see you later.